the app doesn't seem to connect to the hub. No matter what I do, I've restarted the app. I just cannot get my uh, hub to connect to the app. It just says failure almost immediately. I can't get the remote to turn on. I've charged this up for over an hour now, and I press button. unfortunately, it's not functional. And so I was gonna make a video on it, but it ends up being more of a disappointment. So I, I can't recommend this, I just, it doesn't work. All right, guys, so we're back. We're in the home theater. No excuses this time, so for Baton, this is supposed to be better. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my screen recorder on my phone so that you guys can see what we're doing. So we are going to set up the XM1. There is an update, it looks like, so we're going to hit confirm. All right, so now we want to be on Wi-Fi. And just to be safe, it says it can be a 2.4 gigahertz or a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. I'm going to be on 2.4 to give it its best chance. We're going to connect a new device, and we're going to press and hold until it flashes. Let's do that. All right, we are press and hold until it flashes. So we're going to hit next. Please turn on phone's Bluetooth. We have that on now. There we go. So it's found the sofa baton. This is I didn't get this part last time. So we found the sofa baton X1. Let's push it, see what happens here. All right, so let the Wi-Fi for X1 Hub to connect to. All right, let's do KPA Sky Guest. Why not? Check it out. We are in. Looks like we should be able to set up some devices. So I did not get anywhere near this far the first time I tried this with another remote. So we're looking good so far. I'm going to hit the plus button at the top and see what we can uh, kind of put together. We'll start with the Anthem AVM70. Let's see if I can find that. It's brand new for the market, so it's a, gonna be a tough thing for this stuff. Oh, it says Anthem, okay. Anthem AVM70. Let's search. And we'll give it an icon. Let's give it, um, I guess that one is fine down there. Let's hit complete. The code base is downloading. Please keep your phone Wi-Fi connected. So we, we're we getting a lot further than last time. Last time I couldn't get the remote to connect to the hub before. Now granted, I had a beta remote. This was released to me before it went on the market, so maybe that was the reason why. But Sofa Baton saw that video and <laughs> they said, here, take this remote, try it again. I think we made some improvements that should solve a lot of your all's problems. So they are listening to their customers. They are listening to the feedback that us reviewers have left, as well as customers who bought the uh, remote on the Kickstarter they were doing. So hopefully things go well. So far, so good, it seems. So we'll let that keep syncing up here and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so it says click the button to test and turn on the device. So we're gonna click to test power. We're gonna hit that button. And it turned on the first try. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna hit yes. So the device should be completed. Very cool. Awesome. All right, so let's go to the remote here and see if it's in there. It says it's syncing. I don't know if you guys can see that at all, but it says the remote is syncing. So let's see what we can do. Uh, devices. Anthem. Okay, so we all we have Anthem on there. Let's click it. So now we're in there. So I'm going to hit the off button and see if it turns off. It didn't. Okay, let's see. we got to play around with this. It's okay. Go back to devices. Click on Anthem. So it looks like there's things that we can do here, things that we can kind of set for the Anthem, like activities to turn on certain things. So let me see what we can do here. The Anthem is still currently on. The volume button is working. That is good. Home button doesn't do anything. Mute actually works. Let's see what these buttons on here do. Red, blue, green, okay, nothing programmed to that. You can't kick, click the screen. This is not a touch screen at all. It's an OLED screen, but it's not a touch screen, unfortunately. So you do use this click wheel. So I'm going to hit that click wheel there. Let's see, does this do anything at all? I think these are like presets, so maybe I can change these to, to handle, oh look, power on or off, balance, bass, dim, dynamic, 
exit. So it looks like there are some things in here I can do. Change my inputs there. I wish these inputs were named. I'll probably have to go inside the app to do that. But that's pretty cool. So it seems like the remote is working. I'm going to hit that off button and see if it works. So the off button doesn't do anything for me, at least not yet. Let's go back into devices, anthem, and then go down to power off. Okay, so that works. So I probably just need to program it to do what we need it to do. Let's go into the app here and click on Anthem. And let's see if we have some configuration options. Just like we do. So we can edit this. So let's edit. Awesome. So yeah, you can go in here and you can change kind of what you want each button to do on the remote if they're not doing what you want them to do right out of the gate. So I can add a repair keys, whatever I want to do here. So I can go in here and I can add that power button to turn off when I press off. I can also set some different options here. So if I want numbers one through nine, maybe I want those to be my inputs, maybe Blu-ray, maybe HDMI three, whatever the case is, I can set that here. I could probably rename them too. So that's really, really neat. So I'm actually happy. This is really cool because this is a what I thought would be a really good replacement for the Harmony remotes. I have a Harmony Elite remote that I absolutely love. A touchscreen colored, it's white, it's great, it has a hub. This is a really good replacement for it. At least I thought it would be, um, and it may end up still being one of the best remotes you can get on the market right now. I'm actually excited to continue to set this up and control my Blu-ray player and maybe I can get it to control some of my amplifiers or whatever the case is, but I, I like this a lot. I always said that it looked really nice. It's not a lot of buttons. It's not cluttered up. It's really easy. Everything is right there within thumb's reach. Most hands can hold this. My hand is small, but even a bigger hand can feel comfortable. A smaller hand can feel comfortable. And you can program this to do whatever you want to. Now there is a hub that's inside my closet, it has an IR blaster so you can use this uh, really with any device you want to. Obviously we saw Bluetooth with something that we can use so I can probably program my Amazon Fire TV stick with this too. So a really nice remote, according to Sofa Baton, controls uh, up to like I think 50,000, what is it? Yeah, 500,000 devices. So everything you want to control will probably be able to be controlled here. So thumbs up to Sofa Baton. Thank you so much for watching my video and giving me immediate feedback and sending out a second remote. Guys, go out there and get this. I think it will be fine. It seems to work pretty quickly, pretty easily. I can set activity. So if I want to control multiple things, like if I want to set a movie mode and control my receiver, my Blu-ray player, and my projector, I can have a button to turn all those on or turn all those off at the same time, just like you would with a Harmony remote if you're familiar with any of Logitech's remotes. Same thing here. So I am super excited for this. If you want to see a big full review, go back and watch my other two videos that I've done of it. I went in detail with this remote, what you can do with it, all that good stuff. But we have confirmed that they have done some updating and now it seems to work just fine. So I may do a, a follow-up review maybe later on if there's any changes or any problems that I may have in the future, but I think we uh, have a good one on our hands here. So down below in the description box will be a link to the Sofa Baton X1. I cannot wait to get all my devices set up and play around with this. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe if you are not already. We will see you in the next video. K Pace guy out. Peace. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down.